Cyber Friend, me the man coming back at you one more time from Walker's Music. Yet another word for the day. Sunday morning edition, people. I mind you, it's about 6.25 Sunday morning, early. Me the man drive and shine, ready to go out to do what thus says the Lord. Minister as music as I am uh, being called to do. I want to give a shout out to you two fam for Baby Justice. All the way up to Big Papa JT. Where's well, Mama JT? Y'all know what time it is. To the end time harvest game. Brother L.A., King of Knowledge. Elder Michael McCray. Uh, Lex Sister 777. Lady D. Sister K. Sister Linda. Sister Vaughn. Everybody. All of them. Brother P.P. Drawing. Brother Hottencliffe. Brother and Papa JT. As well as little Brother Orange Flay. I counted all the privilege and joy. Also to our brother Steel Horse 45. Really enjoy, I really enjoy Steel Horse 45 videos as well. I claim Steel Horse 45 as an end time harvest game member. I, I consider him also as a member because he's speaking truth. Anyone that speaks truth, I consider them a friend of mine. And uh, I wanted to say straight off the bat, I got something I want to say this morning to everyone. Um, it's going to bless somebody I know. And uh, I don't think God gives me anything that's for my own benefit only. But I think it's meant to be a blessing to others as well as myself. And uh, I thank God for all the people that God has placed in my life and in my path at this present time. Because I know you are there for a reason. God does nothing haphazardly. And so I thank God for the people that's in my life as far as the YouTube fam and the End Time Harvest Game. All of you. I mean, every one of you got a special. And I say everyone. Everyone that I call. And if I didn't call your name, take it for love. I didn't mean not to leave you out. But you know who I'm talking to. Uh, all of you. TJ. TJ Brooks. All of you. I get so much valuable time and information from every one of you and I feel that God did not put y'all there haphazardly as something that the Holy Spirit teaching me through y'all so I want you to continue to do what you're doing and uh, like I said to our brother Steel Horse 45 I thank God for him so much as brother JT and uh, Elder Michael McCray especially our brother LA Kingdom Knowledge and, and you know I mean but but Really and truly, I, I uh, look at Brother L.A. As, as this. When I think end time harvest gang, I really think of Brother L.A. I know somebody said, well, me the man, that was your idea. No, nah, that was me and Brother L.A.'s idea. Brother L.A. came up with that mission statement, which I love. And y'all know what it is. We watch and we share as to not get caught unaware of Jesus Christ's second return. That's the mission statement. That came from Brother L.A. Hear me again. That did not come from Middle Man. That come from Brother L.A. So, I look, when I think End Time Harvest Game, naturally, I think of Brother L.A. I'm just, I'm just glad to be a part of this End Time Harvest tool that I believe that God is using these last days, which is YouTube. I know there's a lot of other negative stuff going on at YouTube, people, and at various other sites. But there are also people that are using these here technology to the benefit of the key, the gospel and the kingdom of God. That not everybody's not using it for pornographic material. People, let me tell you something. I'm going to be for real. I see a lot of it. I see, I can't help it. A lot of times, but it's a way. Now, let me, let me rephrase that. Remember I told you, all you got to do, if you don't want to see anything, all you got to do is click that little X up there at the right hand corner of your browser. But sometimes you don't turn away from it. I know I don't. Sometimes I go and it, it, it captivates. Let me tell you something, people. This stuff is a tool of the devil, and he knows it. And it's very, 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 very highly contagious. And therefore, you must renew your mind daily with the Word of God. Because if you don't, you're going to get sucked in. Believe me, you're going to get sucked in. Because like I say, males, I'm talking to the males of the end time harvest and the whole game. You two found the males, especially because it's mostly... Not all of it. You got other junk out there that geared to the female too. But it's mostly to trip the male up. Satan knows that the female is the one weakness that all males, amen, all males, not just me, all males, that's one weakness that's always going to be there. We have God made them, God made male and female, Adam, Eve, 
he made her that way so that she would be a companion, something suitable, meat for the male. So therefore, it's natural to have a tendency. I'm hoping that you uh, have a tendency to draw toward the female if you're a male. That's what you're supposed to do, not the other way around. As society now seems to say, think everything's okay. No, it's natural to feel. That's natural, but it's unnatural when we take it to the extremes in the form of lust and acting out these are things and, and we entertain this stuff and look, we entertain and engage in pornographic material as an everyday thing of basis of of uh, enjoyment to the to the degree of just sitting there hour upon hour. You can't do that, people. Male, you can't do that. You 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 can't. That's the one thing Christ told the Bible say run. It's to flee fornication. That's the only thing he ever told us to run from. So that lets you know that is a powerful, powerful tool that Satan has to his advantage when it comes to the male species, and then he uses us to get to the female species. It just, it just common arithmetic and mathematics, people. That's all it is. You know, you you don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure that out. You're naturally, if you are red-blooded American or red-blooded uh, Spanish or Latino or uh, Whatever, if you male, and if you a full-blooded male, you're going to be attracted to the opposite female. That's just a natural thing. God made it that way. You can't change it. But like I say, we have to renew our mind so that we can look at these here, uh, the female, in the way that we're supposed to. Looking at, in other words, let every man have his own wife. Let every woman have her own husband. That way you, 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 can, you can get by. You can, you can overcome it. But see, you can't, you can't, you can't do it in your own strength. Remember, it's nothing in our own strength. I didn't mean to go that way. I don't know who need that, but God bless you. I know I need it. But at any rate, I'm just saying to everyone, if you happen to run across, and sometimes you can be looking for one thing. I know it happened to me. I have been on even on Facebook, and I can be, I see a picture I like, I click on it, or somebody send me, somebody from one of my contacts, they say, you, take, take a look at this here. I click on it, and whoa, there it go. I have to, I have to, Sometimes I have to do a double take, but eventually I have to click the X because, see, I cannot let my mind get caught back up into that 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 level, that level of thinking. I, you understand what I'm saying? Male, all male, all male. Believe it. There's not not one male out there. I won't believe that. But what I'm saying is, I still have to rise above. I cannot let my mind get back on that level to where I can just start looking at women folk and start lusting after them. In the flesh, cannot let my mind do that. So therefore, if I go, if you go across that kind of material, you have to click the X, people. I'm telling you, please, male, click the X. Now you can't help it if you just happen to come up on it sometime. You can't help that, and but just click the X. I'm telling you, don't sit down and indulge in it. Now I'm through with that. I want to go and take these another few minutes to let you, everyone know the real reason why I'm doing this video this morning so early. I was awakened by a dream. And in this dream, I saw, I was in this very, very beautiful house. Beautiful house. I mean, the house was immaculate. And everything in this house was there. I mean, if you wanted it, it was there. All kind of conveniences, uh, nice bathrooms and showers and good jacuzzis and playroom, game rooms, music rooms. Everything that I enjoyed, it was there. But there was one thing that was wrong with this beautiful, beautiful house. It wasn't mine. It was my auntie. But I, at least I was glad it was my aunt's house. So I had told I told my auntie, I said, I, said, I had to go play. And so I said, I told my auntie, I said, I need to go and take a shower before I leave. Because we had been playing some sort of game inside. And I had got kind of a little warm under the collar. So I said, I want to take a shower before I leave to go to play. So I, I told my auntie, she took, go ahead. Take your choice. I mean, literally, take your choice. So I was trying to go to one of the jacuzzis or shower units or whatever you want to call it. And I noticed that I could hardly barely walk around there with my shoes on. I had on some old rink dink looking shoes or something I wear around the house here. And uh, I couldn't I couldn't hardly walk in there. It was so, the floor was so immaculate. I mean, you could eat off the floor. It was just like crystal. It was and I said, Lord, I, said, I went back and I told, I told my auntie, I said, I said, auntie, I said, you know what? It might be better if we walked around in your house without any shoes on. It'd probably be better. She started laughing. And so I woke up 
people I woke up to was a smile on my face like a clown. I had a smile on my face while I was a clown. And then I remember what I said. I said, there wasn't but one thing wrong with that house. It wasn't mine. And people, that got me to man to think, hmm, I can have whatsoever I can envision. So I'm, t I'm just telling you, I don't know who I'm talking to. I don't know which one of y'all I'm talking to. But hear me to man. I have claimed the vision. I got another picture of a vision. The only thing now that I'm going to do, I'm going to tell you what Midi Man is going to do. I'm going to, make, I'm going to write the vision, and I'm going to make it plain. I'm going, to, I'm going to take me the beautiful, I'm going to try to find the baddest house I can find with pictures of it, the baddest house I can find. And I'm going to take some pictures and print them out, and I'm going to place them around in here where I, where I work at so I can keep the vision plain because that's what I saw. That's what Midi Man wants. That's one thing I desire is to have a place on this earth, just like that. And so I just thought I'd share that with everyone and I hope you be blessed. And I was I blessed this morning. I woke up with a smile on my face wide as a clown. I look like I look like Clarabelle the clown this morning when I was after I arose. But it's one more thing I got to say that also that happened this morning. After I'm up here thinking and I'm trying to get ready to do this video and I I uh sitting here thinking about what I had seen in that immaculate, that immaculate house and everything, and I said, it just wasn't mine. Lo and behold, I didn't even know I had my email program on Messenger, in Messenger, and I got an uh, email from Brother Mike Murdoch, and guess what it was? Brother Mike Murdoch, people, will remind me that this is not my home. He would remind me of my real address, which is the New Jerusalem, and your address, and we know what time that is. And so I said, you know, I'm like, wow, wait a minute. I'm, I'm dreaming of a home on the earth, immaculate, which I can have, and you. And then I go to my email, and lo and behold, Mike Murdoch has sent me the, the, the email. Matter of fact, I'm going to... MSN, and I'm going to see, I don't think I deleted it, and I'm going to tell y'all exactly what the the newsletter that he sends out just about every day, just about it, and it said, remember your citizenship, that's what the title of his, uh, that was the title of Mike's Murdoch newsletter to me and to many others this morning, it, it, it came, uh, it came around about 6, 17 a.m. this morning, it says, uh, Morning motivation was called Remember Your Citizenship. You are a citizen of the New Jerusalem. This is what Mike said. Earth is temporary. You are a pilgrim here. This is a journey. You are an ambassador, a representative on earth of your heavenly father. His name is engraved upon you. People, that's what I got this morning from Mike. And then take a look. Look what I dream. And then I'm up. I'm waking up with this big clarity smile on my face. And I said, the only thing was wrong with this house, it wasn't mine. And then I said, I'm going to make the vision and make it plain. People, that's not a coincidence, I don't believe. But at any rate, I don't make the video much too long that I normally try to do. I just wanted to share that with everyone. And I hope that it blesses somebody like it has blessed me. I'm so fired up right now, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to go out and play. I, I be ready to go out and play most all the time. God knows I do. Sometimes I don't feel that well, but nevertheless, I, I be ready to go out and play. But this morning it was different because I've seen a little vision, and it been it been it been almost verified by Brother Mike Murdoch. It 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 just sort of solidifies everything and it brings it all together. Now, people, that's what Mitty Man feels, and I think I'm gonna go with that. With that being said, it's Mitty Man saying, whatever you get, whatever you get into it. God is in it. It's best that you come on out of it. Y'all have a blessed Sunday. Have a good worship service. Peace. Goodbye.